Hey guys, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. In this video, we're going to work through an example of a linear regression. Now we're not going to answer every question that can be answered using a linear regression, but we're going to work through creating one, analyzing one, and using it to predict a data value. So here's our setup. Good runners take more steps per second as they speed up. Here are the average number of steps per second for a group of top female runners at different speeds. The speeds are given in feet per second. So here we've got some data values. It looks like we've got seven. Each one is related to, each speed in feet per second is related to a coordinated steps per second. So what you can see here is this pair, this is one runner who was running at 15.86 feet per second, and they were taking 3.05 steps per second. And we've got seven pairs that way. So let's say that you want to predict steps per second from running speed, which is the explanatory variable, and then run a linear regression with this goal in mind. So remember that the explanatory variable is going to be the variable that you use to predict your secondary variable. So if we want to predict steps per second using running speed, then that means our explanatory variable is going to be our running speed. So that means we're going to treat running speed as x and steps per second as y. So in order to run a linear regression, you can use technology. You can use any technology that's available to you. I'm going to go ahead and be showing you with readouts from a TI-83 or 84 model calculator. So what I have done is I have gone into my lists and I have typed in my explanatory variables or my speed in feet per seconds into list one. That's gonna be my X. And I have typed in my steps per second in my second list or L2, making sure that each one is matched together. So 15.86 and 3.05 are matched. 16.88 and 3.12 are matched. So keeping those in the correct order. From there, I've gone ahead and run a linear regression. On the next slide, we'll see the readout for that. So when you run a linear regression, there are two actual choices on a TI-83 or 84. It doesn't matter which one you use, just keep track of if you're using the Y equals AX plus B or the Y equals A plus BX. It won't give you different numbers, it will just determine which one is which, which one is gonna be your slope, which one is gonna be your Y intercept. So as long as you know which one you're using, you can answer the following questions. So, identify and interpret the slope. Okay, well, slope is our multiplier for x in our linear regression. So looking at the type of regression I have run, that means that a in this readout is going to be my slope. So my slope is 0 0.08 and then some additional variables. So I'm going to go ahead and write that here, my slope is 0 0.08. Now remember, back from algebra, just a quick review, that slope is change in y over change in x. So in this case, we've chosen to use steps per second as our y and speed as our x. So this is change in steps per second over change in speed. And so our slope is 0 0.08 divided by 1. So our interpretation of this slope is that for each increase in 1 feet per second, so for an increase of 1 foot per second, steps per second will increase by 0 0.08. Now, of course, that's on average. It's not going to always work exactly like that, but that's what our slope tells us. On average, 
an increase in one feet per second should increase steps per second by about 0.08. Okay, next question, identify and interpret the y-intercept. So looking back at our readout, y-intercept is going to be our b variable. So if we think about, again, thinking back to algebra, if we have mx plus b, that b value is your y-intercept. So in this particular instance, y-intercept is 1.766 or so on. So I'm going to jot that down over here. My y-intercept is the point 0, 1 point, I'm just going to go ahead and say 1.77, just rounding that. Now, again, keep in mind what x and y are. So x here is speed. And y here is steps per second. So while this isn't logical and it doesn't actually make sense in terms of the real world, what the y-intercept is saying is that if you were running a speed of zero, you would be running at about 1.77 steps per second. Again, I know that that's not actually possible. If you're running at a speed of zero, you're not moving, so you're not taking steps. But the y-intercept in a line of best fit or a regression line often doesn't actually make sense in context because it's typical that a zero x variable isn't realistic in the real world. So let me jot this down. If speed is zero steps per second is 1.77. Okay, so not realistic, but that's what our y-intercept is telling us. Okay, the final thing that we want to do for this particular example is we want to use our linear equation, our line of best fit, to predict a variable. So if you need to cover 20 feet per second to win a race, predict the steps per second you would need to maintain. So this is saying if you had an x value of 20, what steps per second would you need? Now we have data values close to 20. We have 19.97 and then we have one just above. So we're kind of in here. So we want to use our linear equation to predict. So if we write down our, our equation here, we would have ax plus b, so that would be 0 0.08 times x plus 1.77. And I'm just going ahead and rounding here. I know those decimals are much longer. So what we're looking for is what y value would correspond to an x value of 20. So we'll go ahead and plug in x equals 20. So that will be 0 0.08 times 20 plus 1.77. So if I go ahead and type that in my calculator, 0 0.08 times 20 plus 1.77, I get 3.37, and that would be steps per second. So using our line of best fit or our linear regression, we have the approximation that if you needed to run at about 20 feet per second to win the race, you would need to maintain 3.37 steps per second. All right, guys, that does it for this video on examples on linear regression. We'll catch you in the next one.